how we critically appraise the medical literature or article or research paper, right? Critically appraisal का मतलब है critically इसको analyze करें. So before you are going to critically appraise, I would like to give you a few points. So anatomy of scientific paper. This is in a scientific paper. जो अभी मैंने आपको दिखाया था ना. This is in a scientific paper. You see. So ये patients के लिए नहीं है कि colorful हो, bullets में हो. So this is in a scientific paper for critical analysis. To see this. Most scientific articles have an amrit structure. Amrit is a short form introduction or background methods or material and methods results. That is the finding and discussion, right? So this is amrit introduction method results and discussion. जो भी आर्टिकल होता है जो भी एब्सट्रेक्ट होता है वो एमरेट स्ट्रक्चर पे होता है ये एक एनाटॉमी है साइंटिफिक पेपर की जैसे ह्यूमन एनाटॉमी है हेड है नेक है चेस्ट है फोरेक्स है एब्डोमिन है एंड देन लोअर लिंब व्हाट एवर पेल्विस तो दिस इज एन एनाटॉमी इंट्रोडक्शन आएगी शुरू शुरू में फिर मेथड्स देन रिजल्ट्स एंड देन डिस्कशंस दे ऑफन हैव एन एब्सट्रेक्ट व्हिच इज आल्सो यूजुअली स्ट्रक्चरड एज एमरेट आप एब्सट्रेक्ट भी देखोगे तो वो भी एज एमरेड होगा सी दिस सी दिस दिस इज द दिस इज द एबस्ट्रिक्ट ये एबस्ट्रिक्ट है जिसमें उसकी इंट्रोडक्शन है ऑब्जेक्टिव है स्टडी डिजाइन एंड रिजल्ट है ठीक है कंक्लूजन ये इसका एबस्ट्रिक्ट है ये भी एमरेड की तरह है बैकग्राउंड मीन इंट्रोडक्शन सो सी हेयर दिस इज द इंट्रोडक्शन then this is material and method amrit introduction material and methods this is the results and discussion end mein uska discussion aa jata hai theek hai ye paper koi bhi article in amrit structures clear so see her All of these sections are important. सब कुछ important है But ASCII में हमारे पास इतना time नहीं होता कि हम ये 12-15 paper पढ़ लें एक एक line उसकी पढ़ लें understand करें और फिर compile करके हम examiner को बताएं So this is too lengthy. एक घंटा क्या दो घंटे में भी ये पूरा नहीं हो जाएगा So it's very important के important point you have to see. So which are these points? We recommend that you prioritize the abstract. आपने क्या क्या पढ़ने हैं एबस्ट्रेक्ट पे नजर रखनी है देन मेथड्स देन रिजल्ट बाकी सबको छोड़ दें एबस्ट्रेक्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एबस्ट्रेक्ट में आपको हर चीज मिल जाएगी राइट देन मेथड्स एंड देन रिजल्ट रह गया इंट्रोडक्शन और डिस्कशन वो इतना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं होता क्योंकि इसमें वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम है आपको वो सारी चीजें मिल जाएंगी जो आप क्रिटिकली एनालाइज करते हैं डेट वुड बी इन द एबस्ट्रेक्ट एबस्ट्रेक्ट शुड गिव यू अ क्विक रिव्यू ऑफ अ पेपर द मेथड्स शुड टेल यू व्हाट वाज डन इन द स्टडी फ्रॉम विच यू कैन असेस इट्स वैलिडिटी एंड द रिजल्ट शुड टेल यू व्हाट वाज फाउंड हमें क्या मिला ठीक है जो इंट्रोडक्शन है और डिस्कशन है मेनी ऑफ यू फाउंड आउट देवर टिंग लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू सो अगर टाइम मिल जाता है तो पढ़ लें अदरवाइज इन तीन चीजों पे नजर रखें एबस्ट्रिक्ट मेथड एंड रिजल्ट ठीक है सो कमिंग टू दियर द जर्नल प्रिंसिपल इन एप्रीजिंग अ साइंटिफिक पेपर आप एक जर्नल प्रिंसिपल में आप सब पे अप्लाई करेंगे जो भी एबस्ट्रिक्ट होगा जो भी पेपर होगा उसके जर्नल प्रिंसिपल से ठीक है जर्नल प्रिंसिपल इन एप्रीजिंग अ साइंटिफिक पेपर इंट्रोडक्शन introduce introduction of paper not introduction of that article uh, not introduction of subject but the introduction of the paper right paper title kya hai kisne likha hai kab publish hua year of publication right online publish hua hai ya kisi journal mein publish hua hai title kya hai author kaun se hai 
और कब पब्लिश हुआ है राइट सो दिस इज द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द आर्टिकल देन डिफाइन द एक्सैक्ट क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चन आस्ट बाय द पेपर एक्सैक्ट क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चन दैट वुड बी कमिंग इन द पी कोड स्ट्रक्चर पी कोड स्ट्रक्चर राइट सो हम लोग अगर पी कोड पे जाएंगे तो हमें क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चन का पता चल जाएगा सो पी कोड हमें कहाँ से मिलेगा दैट इज फ्रॉम एप स्ट्रिक्ट राइट सो चले देखते हैं कि वॉट इज द पी कोड एंड हाउ वी क्रिटिकली एप्रेज द पेपर ठीक है सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू सी क्रिटिकल एप्रेजल ऑफ एन पेपर फर्स्ट यू इंट्रोड्यूस द पेपर अथर नेम वेर इट वॉज पब्लिश ईयर ऑफ पब्लिकेशन टाइटल ऑफ द पेपर राइट सो सी इन यूर आर्टिकल ओपन यूर आर्टिकल प्लीज इन यूर मोबाइल फोन और इन यूर पी सी जो मैंने अपलोड किया था लिंक उसको ओपन कर लें इंट्रोड्यूस द पेपर द आथर नेम वेर इट वॉज पब्लिश द ईयर ऑफ पब्लिकेशन टाइटल ऑफ द पेपर द पी कॉड दैट इज द क्वेश्चन टू बी आस्क दिट इज फाउंड इन द एबस्टिक एंड इन द मेथडोलॉजी वॉट इज पी कॉड पी कॉड मीन पॉपुलेशन इंटरवेंशन कंपेरिजन ग्रुप्स आउटकम एंड स्टडी डिजाइन कि पॉपुलेशन कौन सी है इंटरवेंशन क्या यूज किया गया है कंपेरिजन ग्रुप है या नहीं है आउटकम क्या था प्राइमरी आउटकम क्या था सेकेंडरी आउटकम क्या है और स्टडी डिजाइन क्या है राइट कौन सी टाइप है स्टडी की सो दिस इज द पी कॉड यू हैव टू फाउंड दिस पी कॉड इन द एबस्ट्रिक्ट एंड इन द मेथडोलॉजी कमिंग टू द एप्रिज द स्टडी फॉर वेलिडिटी सो वैलिड है या नहीं है इसकी वेलिडिटी कितनी है यू सी इन द मेथडोलॉजी मैंने आपको स्टार्ट में बताया था कि एमरेट पे ट्रेन पे जाएंगे इंट्रोडक्शन मेथडोलॉजी रिजल्ट एंड डिस्कशन उसमें से तीन चीजें इंपॉर्टेंट थी एबस्ट्रिक्ट मेथडोलॉजी एंड रिजल्ट ये तीनों चीजें इंपॉर्टेंट थी तो आपको पी कोड तो एबस्ट्रिक्ट से मिल जाएगा एप्रीज द स्टडी फॉर वेलिडिटी ये आपको मेथडोलॉजी से मिल जाएगी कि क्या मेथडोलॉजी यूज की गई थी whether the um the population is appropriately randomized random table numbers computer generated hai ya nahi hai the patients are equally distributed in the both groups appropriately concealed mean enveloped third party randomization ke na researcher ko pata hai na patient ko pata hai na jo participants hai unko pata hai mean first researcher second researcher ya na us एजेंसी को पता है कि जो करवा रहा है इट इज कंसील्ड इट्स अ रैंडम राइट सो दिस इज द डबल ब्लाइंड सिंगल ब्लाइंड और ट्रिपल ब्लाइंड सो इट्स अप्रोप्रिएटली कंसील्ड मीन बॉटल में बंद था इनवेलप में बंद था डबल ब्लाइंड है सिंगल ब्लाइंड है और ट्रिपल ब्लाइंडेड है एंड गुड फॉलो अप रेट है एटलीस्ट पेशेंट उसमें आपकी स्टडी में फॉलो अप पे आ रहे हैं यू हैव टू फॉलो द पेशेंट ऐसे नहीं पेशेंट ने विथड्रॉ कर लिया बीच में so good follow up rate so this is very important for the validity validity of any paper if the good paper these all must be there in the good paper right so you will read the methodology and find all these in the methodology so p code you have to found in the abstract appraise the study for validity in the methodology appraise the study for applicability do the benefits outweigh the costs uske kya benefits hain hum itna kharcha jo kar rahe hain either uske zyada benefit hai ya nahi hai cost zyada lag rahi hai what are benefit to the peoples so you see in that article the benefits outweigh the cost provide the finding of the study these findings you have to found in the results i repeatedly tell you ke teen cheeze important hai एबस्ट्रिक्ट मेथडोलॉजी एंड द रिजल्ट ये तीनों चीजें अगर आप क्विक देख लेंगे तो आपको प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगी एंड विद इन टाइम इन द टेन मिनट्स यू हैव टू क्रिटिकली अप्रेज एन आर्टिकल और एनी रिसर्च पेपर सो पुट द फाइंडिंग इन द कंटेक्स एविडेंस हाउ मेनी स्टडीज पब्लिश बिफोर एंड दिस स्टडी मैच विथ हाउ मेनी स्टडीज ये आपको डिस्कशन में मिलेगा 
राइट डिस्कशन बहुत बड़ी होती है उसके इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हम देख लीजिएगा अगर टाइम ले परमिट करे तो सो यूर रिकमेंडेशन फॉर द प्रैक्टिस एंड रिसर्च so you don't forget your recommendation okay you have to read all article you have to critically analyze my recommendation is this 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 clear so this is the total critical appraisal of the paper so let's see humne kya critically appraise kiya hai kaise is paper ko appraise kiya hai critically theek hai so ye jo paper tha aap logo ne khol diya so this is the paper you have to see introduction of the paper which shows the author name see here these are the author name okay year of publication this is the year of publication see here mostly this year of the publication is in the top but in some paper if you don't find in the top you have to go down so this is the year of publication right the title of the paper these are the this is the title of the paper right so author name where it was published it is published in american journal of obstetrics and gynecology this is an american journal of obstetrics and gynecology this is the symbol right so how you present it i would like to present the appraisal findings of the paper done by lin lin jing han poya li राइट right? बहुत सारे नेम है ये सारे आप लोग नहीं लेंगे और फिर इट ऑल बोल लेंगे सो आई वुड लाइक टू प्रेजेंट द एप्रीजियल फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ द पेपर डन बाय लिन लिन जिंग होई बोयाली इट ऑल व्हिच वाज पब्लिश्ड इन अमेरिकन जर्नल ऑफ ऑब्सेटिक्स एंड गायनेकोलॉजी इन फेब्रुवरी 2022 सी हियर in february 2022 american journal of obstetrics and gynecology on low dose aspirin for the prevention of pre eclampsia in women at high risk in china right so this is the introduction of the paper how you introduce the paper so i would like to present the appraisal findings of paper done by lin lin jing hui boya li and et al which was published in american journal of obstetrics and gynecology in february 2022 in low dose aspirin for the prevention of pre eclampsia in women at high risk in china clear am i clear to you people yes ma'am okay so coming to the peak code portion this is the abstract this is the abstract we have to found the peak cord population intervention comparison groups outcome and study design so how you present that it involves high risk pregnant women see here it involves high risk pregnant women screened with maternal risk factor in china where pre eclampsia is highly prevalent right so see here it involves high risk pregnant women screened with maternal risk factor who were given low dose aspirin and compare with placebo right so who were given low dose aspirin and compare with placebo clear see yes, here the targeted yes, recruitment so population kon si thi among high risk pregnant women screened with maternal risk factor where preeclampsia is highly prevalent who were given 100 uh, 100 mg of the aspirin right it was random now coming to the population ab intervention kya thi the population ये आपकी पॉपुलेशन है ठीक है इंटरवेंशन इंटरवेंट क्या कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे इट्स एस्प्रिन वी आर गिविंग द एस्प्रिन लो डोज एस्प्रिन 100 मिलीग्राम तो हाई रिस्क वुमेन एट प्री क्लेमशा एंड प्लेसिबो राइट क्लियर टू सी हियर द कंपेरिजन ग्रुप इज द प्लेसिबो वन इज द एस्प्रिन ग्रुप One is the placebo group. 
two groups are divided. So see in the whole paper, the targeted recruitment number was 1000 participants women were randomly assigned to a sprint or control group. So see there is two groups, a sprint group or control group. Okay, so see here the comparison group. If there is comparison group, then we will not say it. But in this, there is a comparison group in this paper. So now coming to the outcome, the peak code population intervention, comparison outcome. What was the outcome? The primary outcome was the incidence of preeclampsia diagnosed along with the systolic blood pressure of more than 140 or diastolic blood pressure of more than 90 millimeter of mercury after 20 weeks of gestation, right? So this is your primary outcome. That was incidence of preeclampsia. Our outcome kya tha? Incidence of preeclampsia in high risk population, which we are giving de rahe. Okay? So this is our primary outcome. The secondary outcome, it's the maternal and neonatal outcome. Clear? So the maternal outcome may PPHA, preterm labor A, whatever the maternal outcome and the neonatal outcome. Clear? So this is the maternal and secondary outcome is maternal and the neonatal outcome. The primary outcome is the incidence of preeclampsia. So this is very clear from the abstract. Now coming to the study design. Study design kon si hai? This is randomized control trial. The study design see here in the abstract you have to found all the things. Study design randomized control trial. Clear? So see here in the material and methods compare the two groups of the pregnant women with high risk of preeclampsia. Aspirin group, control group. See here. The aspirin group, the control group who received no treatment in the high risk pregnant woman. The aspirin group tha, usme 100 milligram aspirin di gai, jo uska comparison group tha, usme kuch nahi diya gaya. So there is the comparison, there is the population, there is the intervention outcome and study design. So how will you uh, tell your examiner? It involves high risk pregnant woman screened with maternal risk factor who were given low dose aspirin and compare with placebo. It was randomized control trial with primary outcome was the incidence of preeclampsia. The secondary outcome included maternal and neonatal outcome. Clear? So PCOT, you don't say to examiner that PCOT, you just read this. ये आपके पढ़ने के लिए समझने के लिए कि आपने क्या क्या कोई कुछ देखना है या आपने एग्जामिनर को नहीं बोलना है कि मैं पीक और देखूंगी यू हैव टू सी दैट इट इन्वॉल्व्स द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ हाई रिस्क प्रेग्नेंट वुमन स्क्रीन विद मैटरनल रिस्क फैक्टर द इंटरवेंशन वाज लो डोज एस्पिरिन एंड कंपेयर विद द प्लेसिबो सो देयर आर टू कंपैरिजन ग्रुप वन ग्रुप इज द एस्पिरिन ग्रुप एंड अदर इज द प्लेसिबो ग्रुप इट वाज नॉट गिवन एनीथिंग it was randomized control trial with primary outcome was the incidence of preeclampsia. Secondary outcome included maternal and neonatal outcome. That's clear, guys? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, ma'am. Coming to the third point, appraise the study for validity. That is, this is found in the methodology. So, C in the methodology, appraise whether they are appropriately randomized, whether patients are equal in both groups, whether appropriately concealed, whether single blind, double blind or triple blind and I mean a good follow up rate. You have to found all these in the methodology. Okay. So see here, participants were randomized using a web-based computerized central randomization system. Okay. So this is the web response system. Computer generated randomization in participation were randomized using waste based computer central randomization that that is a standard. Okay. So in a one in one allocation ratio, they were assigned a randomization code. Code mila hai. 
which determine the women who received the 100 mg of aspirin daily and those who did not wahan pe bottle pe ya envelope pe ya pudiya pe kisi pe bhi code hoga 1 2 1 2 1 kisi ko 1 mila kisi ko 2 mila nobody knows that ke 1 mein aspirin hai ya 1 mein placebo hai so this is the blinded study this is single blind and double blind even even the part, uh, uh, researcher don't know and even the patient don't know so this is the double blind randomized trial clear so appropriately this is so how we read it it was appropriately randomized using computer generated randomization with appropriately concealed bottles theek hai yahan pe concealed bottles to nahi hai magar concealed envelope honge right with no equal participation in both groups ab yahan pe equal participation hai group mein ya nahi hai to see here in the tables in the result and you don't find the equality agar group mein equal uh, distribution hai to its ka matlab hai ki ye equally uh, group mein distribute kiya gaya hai theek hai so see here the participants were randomized using a best web based computer central randomization system which is interactive web response system so they allocate one in one ratio so they use a randomized code which determines the women who receive 100 mg of aspirin daily and those who did not study outcome the primary outcome is the incidence of preeclampsia you see here again the study outcome the incidence of preeclampsia the secondary outcome incidence of preeclampsia delivery before 34 weeks of gestation before 37 weeks or at 37 weeks the gestational age pe delivery ho rahi hai kis gestational age pe delivery ho rahi hai gestational hypertension hemolysis what is the incidence of gestational hypertension alp syndrome placental abrupt show pph theek hai so these these are the secondary outcome these are maternal outcome secondary maternal outcome these are the secondary neonatal outcome these are the preterm birth theek hai miscarriage miscarriage to nahi aayega because we are using it after 20 weeks so still birth on neonatal death fetal death perinatal death whatever fetal malformation low birth weight iugr these all are in icu admission these are the neonatal outcome so maternal outcome neonatal outcome these are the secondary outcome the primary outcome is the incidence of preeclampsia clear appraise the study for applicability do the benefits outweigh the cost ye aapko kahan se milega so c in the aim aim kya tha low dose aspirin in the prevention of risk of preeclampsia so use of low dose aspirin in prevention of preeclampsia in high risk population thus reduce the incidence of preeclampsia and risk of maternal and neonatal risk associated with the preeclampsia so its use is beneficial for the population aspirin to itni sasti hai uske benefits zyada hain so this is beneficial for the population agar aspirin se preeclampsia ka rate kam ho jata hai to automatically uske risk bhi kam ho jayenge maternal and neonatal risk kam ho jayenge so that would be more beneficial for the public clear so benefits outweigh the costs the benefits are more than cost provide the finding of the study you have to go and read the results you have to find the results start with the first table that is demographic detail go in the first table this is an article to so see here this is the objective ye ye ab pura abstract hai year of publication where it was published material and method study design a randomized control trial 
two groups, pregnant women with high risk of preeclampsia and aspirin group, control group. Clear? So participant, the population, the, these are the participants, their eligibility criteria. This is in the very detail. You have, we won't have the time. You just see the high risk population, which are eligible uh, high risk population of preeclampsia, right? How many percent were thousand uh, candidates who were enrolled? See here, this is the procedure or methodology. The participants are randomly assigned. Primary outcome, secondary outcome, right? Coming to the results. So, demography of the results. See, in the first table, this is the first table. See here, the first table. This is the demography. So, if you see the both group, the aspirin group and the control group, the age, advanced age, high pre pregnancy, quick, see. And see any difference, 32, 32.78, 175, 160. This is not significant. 161, 160, 66, 66, 25, 25. So it means there is no significant reduction in risk of preeclampsia with use of the aspirin. aspirin diya, wahi rate aa hai. aspirin nahi diya, to wahi results aa hai. Clear? So isko kaise aap padhenge? The baseline characteristics of this, these individuals are summarized in the table number one, showing that the two groups were well matched at the baseline. Okay. The incidence of preeclampsia was 16.8% in the aspirin group and 17.1% in the control group. So, see here, this is the table number two, incidence does not signify no significant difference. We don't find any significant difference in our study. Okay? No significant difference in the aspirin group and in the control group that is shown in the tab table number one. Clear? We compare the table number two. That was the primary and the secondary outcome. Primary outcome tha rate of eclampsia. No significant difference nahi mila hume tables pe. Table number two and three. Aap sari table ko detail pe jayenge. To aapko bohut time lagega. So see here in the quick. Table number two or three ki aap summary ye puri. The incidence of the maternal outcome. Including preeclampsia at different delivery weeks. Gestational hypertension, health syndrome, whatever. There was no significant difference in the incidence of neonatal or fetal outcome. See here, there was no significant difference in incidence of neonatal or fetal outcome between aspirin and control group. Okay? So fetal or neonatal outcome may be no difference in the incidence may be no difference in the incidence. Now, in the table 3, table 4, table 5, in sub ko break kiya gaya hai, and we found that in women with chronic hypertension, the incidence of the preeclampsia showed no difference between the aspirin group and the control group. Table number five, in the subgroup analysis, the preeclampsia incidence between the aspirin group and control group, no significant difference. Okay? So this is the result. This is the summary of the result. Jisari is tables ki summary hai jo aapko results mein mil chayengi. Isliye mene bola tha ke result pe nazar rakhe. Result pe. Table number six, shows this subgroup analysis according to the BMI. Okay, according to BMI, ab yahan pe kya mila hai? No significant difference in the different BMI subgroups and there was no significant interaction effect between BMI subgroup and the trial group. Clear? So, ye sari tables, no significant difference in the demography of aspirin and control group, no significant difference in uh, incidence of the eclampsia in both group, no significant difference in maternal and neonatal outcome in both groups. Ye aapko result mein mil chayega. Thik hai? Now coming to last kya tha amara? Result ka. So regarding the demographic details, the findings were there was no reduction in the risk of preeclampsia in all the secondary outcome. सिर्फ समरी में बताएंगे इतना डिटेल में नहीं बताएंगे ये डिटेल सिर्फ आपके पढ़ने के लिए है 
तो आपने क्या क्या चीजों को इम्पोर्टेंट नजर में रखना है और एक पंद्रह पेपर को आपने पंद्रह लाइन्स में कैसे कन्वर्ट करना है पंद्रह पेजेस के पेपर को पंद्रह लाइन्स में कैसे कन्वर्ट करना है सो स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट टेबल दैट इज डेमोग्राफिक डिटेल रिकॉर्डिंग द डेमोग्राफिक डिटेल द बेस लाइन डेमोग्राफी इन बोथ ग्रुप आर कंपेरेबल विथ नो सिस्टमिक डिफरेंस द फाइनिंग्स व नो रिडक्शन इन द रिस्क ऑफ री क्लेमशा एंड ऑल द सेकेंडरी आउटकम इन एसप्रिन ग्रुप ठीक है कोई रिडक्शन हमें नहीं मिली है इन द रिस्क so many are now see what previous studies shows kya tha ki pehle kitni study hui hai aur unka kya result aaya hai so many study done before shown in table number 7 ab hum aayenge table number 7 pe so see here in the table number 7 this is the table number 7 you see these are the different studies these are the inclusion criteria ya yeah, inclusion criteria pe jaye nahi bas aap dekh le ki kitni study hui hai aur do group intervention aur gestational age group pe uska outcome kya tha mean outcome mean wo rate dekh rahe the incidence dekh rahe the pre claim show ka theek hai ye spring group hai ye control group hai theek hai usme ye koi aap is pe ek nazar dal denge ye aapko discussion mein mil jayega theek hai ab coming to the discussion My, uh, this study correlates with many of them. अगर चार पांच है तो आप उनके नंबर बता देंगे अगर बहुत ज्यादा है तो मेनी वर्ड यूज कर लें दिस स्टडी कोरलेट्स विथ मेनी ऑफ देम विथ नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन बोथ क्रू वाई फ्यू स्टडी शोज रिडक्शन इन प्री क्लेम श्या ठीक है दो तीन स्टडी है जिन्होंने बताया है कि रिडक्शन इन प्री क्लेम श्या उसमें रिडक्शन आई है प्री क्लेम शा में ठीक है सो क्लियर अब क्या रिडक्शन आई है ये आपको कहां पे मिलेगा डिस्कशन में मैं आपको यहां पे दिखा देती हूँ क्लिनिकल एम्प्लीकेशन और डिस्कशन और ट्रायल फाउंड नो सिग्निफिकेंट डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू ग्रुप रिकॉर्डिंग द इंसिडेंस ऑफ द प्री क्लेम शा विच इज कंसिस्टेंट विद सेवरल रिपोर्टेड क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स ठीक है several reported clinical trials have been done before this study and our study match with that theek there is no significant difference in the incidence of preeclampsia right so cochrane meta analysis published in 2019 also reported as a two studies so up to 3 4 nahi bolenge but yahi bolenge ki few study reported that treatment with aspirin at a dose of 150 mg per day showed a significant reduction in pre from pre eclampsia compared with the placebo ab ye study jo iska meta analysis hai wo bata rahi hai rolen ki study bata rahi hai ki eclampsia ka rate ghat kam hua hai cochrane meta analysis published in 2019 also reported 18% reduction of rate of preeclampsia with administration of antiplatelet agents ठीक है, so, ये अब अच्छा एसपेर स्टडी आल्सो इंडिकेट सजेस्ट द सिग्निफिकेंट इंसिडेंस ऑफ रिडक्शन इन द इंसिडेंस ऑफ प्री कम प्री क्लेमशा सो फ्यू स्टडी शोज द रिडक्शन इन द रेट ऑफ प्री क्लेमशा मेनी ऑफ दे इन फोर लेट विथ आर स्टडी तीन लाइनों में बता देंगे आप ज्यादा डिटेल पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है जस्ट आप देखेंगे कि कहाँ कहाँ पे स्टडीज का क्या क्या रिजल्ट आ रहे हैं तो एग्जामिनर को आप दो तीन लाइनें बता देंगे मेनी स्टडीज हैव बीन डन बिफोर दिस स्टडी कोरलेट्स विद मेनी ऑफ देम विद नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन बोथ ग्रुप्स व्हाइल फ्यू स्टडी शोस रिडक्शन इन प्री क्लेमशा क्लियर नाउ योर रिकमेंडेशन माय रिकमेंडेशन अगर हमने सब कुछ देख लिया इसमें हाई रिस्क पॉपुलेशन में स्टडी हो रही थी प्लेसी को भी दिया लो रिस्क ग्रुप भी दिया मेरी क्या रिकमेंडेशन है मैं क्या रिकमेंडेशन दूंगी आप क्या रिकमेंडेशन देंगी इसमें सो माय रिकमेंडेशन इज दैट दीज स्टडीज विल आल्सो डन इन हाई रिस्क वुमन विथ प्री क्लेमशा विथ द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ एंटीप्लेटिलेट एजेंट्स एंड एस्प्रिन टुगेदर और अलोन ठीक है तो हम एस्प्रिन तो दिया हमने एस्प्रिन और एंटीप्लेटिलेट एजेंट साथ देख के देख लें कि रिडक्शन हो रही है या नहीं हो रही है 
So this is my recommendation. You will make your own recommendation according to the paper. So this is the brief critical appraisal of the paper. How will you read that paper? So just in the 10 minutes, you don't have too much time. You have just 10 minutes. So ek dafa me phir aapko padke batao taake aap logo ka mind clear ho jaye. I would like to present the appraisal findings of the paper done by Lin Lin Jing Hui Poya Lee et al, which was published in American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology in February 2022 on low-dose aspirin for the prevention of preeclampsia in women at high risk in China. It involves high-risk pregnant women screened with maternal risk factors who were given low-dose aspirin and compared with placebo. It was randomized controlled trial with primary outcome was the incidence of preeclampsia. Secondary outcome included maternal and neonatal outcome. It was appropriately randomized using computer generated randomization with appropriately concealed bottles with no equal participation in both groups. Use of low dose aspirin in the prevention of preeclampsia in high risk population thus reduces the incidence of the preeclampsia and risk of maternal and neonatal risk associated with preeclampsia. So its use is beneficial for the populations. Regarding the demographic detail, the baseline demography in both groups are comparable with no systemic difference. The findings were there was no reduction in the risk of preeclampsia in all the secondary outcomes. Many studies have been done before. This study correlates with many of them with no difference between both groups, while few study shows reduction in the preeclampsia. So my recommendation is that these studies will also done in high risk women with preeclampsia with the administration of antiplatelet agents and the aspirin together are alone. Thank you. Excellent ma'am. Any question? Thank you ma'am. Thank you ma'am sir. Any question? Aapke jata present karna.